Hey all and welcome back for another round of Hellfire Comms, Patreon TV Comms. Today we're checking out the last three episodes of Star Wars Rebels. We've done a lot of Star Wars stuff. This is the first time we've ever closed out a series before. So, this is going to be exciting. Just a forewarning though, 14 is its own video, episode 14. Uh, but episodes 15 and 16 are in one video file together. So, just letting you know that. In advance, here we go. Once again, commissioned by Morris Aquero. Thank you for the support. Season 4, episode 14 of Star Wars Rebels. In 3, 2, 1. Hammer off. I believe this episode is called A Fool's Hope. Hmm. As opposed to A New Hope. I just think of Gandalf's line, there never was much hope, just a fool's hope. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, was a Rebels 2 announced, or am I just, like, completely misinterpreting the news? No, there is no Rebels 2. I, I, they, they, no, I'm pretty sure not. I still haven't... I gotta get around to watching Season 7 of Clone <laughs> Wars, so I've been reminded. But, thinking of when they did, uh... Star Wars Resistance? No, it's not Resistance. I could have sworn there were some new shows like being teased recently. I don't know. There's a lot of Star Wars news coming, and ever since I kind of fell off the movies, I haven't really been paying full attention, so I'm probably just spouting bullshit right now. Oh, it's that fucker again. Hey, Hondo! You look better in Clone Wars. He does. But it's always great to see him. He's entertaining, as always. He's such a good dude. Oh, man. Uh, it's just... He's at his best when he's bantering with Kenobi, though. And there's no Kenobi to be found. Voiced by Jim Cummings, right? Uh, I'm not sure who voices Hondo. Hmm. He, d he does have Jim's Cajun accent going on, I think, so... Where is, like, Ezra and everyone else at this point in time? I forget if this takes place after the episodes we watched previously. Yeah, uh... Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, right. Liberating Ezra's home, huh? Hmm. Kind of hyping up the protag there. I really appreciate the translation of a tricorn hat into uh, space here with Hondo's design. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Honestly, you couldn't just take a regular ass tricorn hat. It's Star Wars, you just, you, so they like they they sleeked it up a bit. I appreciate that. Got to put some neon on there. A little bit of machinery. So I was talking to the space walls again. Yeah, it's Ezra. Ezra's just... <laughs> nope. I've been meditating for days. They're really gone, Sabine. Oh. I want me a mountain base. Whatever. Never get what I want, really. When did you become a general? I'm not sure, honestly. I think we may have just missed a bit of information here and there. Mark usually does send us information uh, regarding these things, so maybe I'll actually give it a look this time. Uh, he says, since this happens in the first two minutes of the episode, all the friends we made along the way from all four seasons come together to help the Rebel crew. It's fine that you don't know all of them. Everything else is explained in the episode. All the friends, huh? All the friends. Pikachu's gonna be the Simon Belmont. No sign of Fraun either. He'll be back soon.
Oh, that's not nice. I'm not important enough to animate my eyes. It's me, Clancy Brown. Oh, is it Ezra? Please, please use him as bait. Oh. Imagine if this was like a prank call. You could just hear the others tittering off screen. No, it's cool, guys. She's totally going to buy this. They just show up and like, oh, like, oh, yes, we got it. And then like, it could be a trap. And then they just walk in. On the walls is just written, I see wiener. Oh, crud. Anyway, here's another quiet scene. It's fucking wolves again. Are you a furry? Is that what this is? Sometimes it's strong, sometimes it's just vague whispers, sometimes they teach me a new move with my sword. Yeah. Have to be level 5 to actually use it though, which is a shame. Like they want me to turn into a wolf and mimic their call so that they can turn into a skeleton and then teach me how to... Oh. What? I have the faintest, faintest idea what you could be describing there. <laughs> Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. I'm guessing that was a swear or a place. It could be either in Star Wars. Yeah. They're probably a person. Well, there goes the Mandalorian for the season. Yeah, people are kind of getting a bit worried that they're introducing so many new things to the second season of Mando. I don't really care. You had your quiet first season. Now let's go balls to the walls. That is not good aim. That is... <laughs> Not since Zephyr versus the Breeze Builders have I seen such a war. It's gonna dent the uh, the tail end. Oh, All this right. fucking guy, not again. Ah, sniffy boy. <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm gonna finally kill you this cut, Tom. Tidy you gimmick. Shouldn't metal conduct all that electricity, or am I just nitpicking you? Well, you know, it, it's a contained, like, plasma thing. It's like what Grievous' uh, soldiers had. And uh, they were constantly, you know, they had to be around, like, metal. Like spaceships, interiors, so that problem was probably solved a while ago. Oh shit. They can't see you if you look very, if you're standing very still. <laughs> no, that's T Rexes. Although, if you have a shield up, according to episode one, everything will be fine. They're just outside. They are bound by their rules. They won't fire on us. Hondo seems malnourished. Ah, uh, he is. He's malnourished of fun banter with his friend Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> I forget. Did um, yeah, Obi Wan turned off in this. Uh, he fought Darth Maul. Oh, did he? Oh, dang. 
Oh, I think uh, I was with Volk for that episode. Yeah, you would have been. Yeah. It was a good episode. There's just barely anything with Obi-Wan and Darth. It's just Ezra and uh, the robot thing wandering for the most part. No, enough gimmicks. Try sniffing your way out of that one. Better be gone this time. Oh, oh, damn! It was like a grey version of the CGI used for the aliens in Blue Double D Double Dies music video. Oh. Oh yeah, they can move. I'm gonna be honest, I'm really surprised he didn't get shot there. Really? Doesn't really matter, you seem to be doing pretty well without her. Again, he's doing just fine. Yeah, who knows? How long can Ezra hold out? It's not like he has other people with him. Yeah. Oh! Oh, I see. Okay, right. I'm digging it. This is a decent plan. Although, you know, planets are round. You could just go around the other side, but... There you go, nice and snug. That's how you do it. I just have to pray that no one spots the ship on this. Nice, never mind. My fears were unfounded. Friends, we've done it. Yes. We've saved the day. Pew, 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 pew. What is the signal? Um, I don't know. Think of something Star Warsy. <laughs> that could be chewy. That was a very sick <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wookiee right there. Okay, Bizarro. I don't know who that is, but I'm sure he's not going to last the night. Thank you, Bizarro. Well, that just makes me want to cut the commercial. No, not us two. Ah. Uh. It's a good thing we're both great at jumping. Me with my mind powers, you with your freakish legs, Jesus. Yes, this is why we're the two characters you play during the Lego mission. Oh, fu is that true? I no, I, I I don't know. I don't think there even is a Lego Re Star Wars Rebels. I'm gonna have a look.
Uh, there are sets. I'm not sure about a game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure not. But you know it would be. Oh, yeah. You know Zeb would have uh, the super jump. Ezra would quip. Wish I could turn it off, but I can't. You, whoever you are. Did I say that? Um, I think so. We did watch the... No, again, that was me and Volk who watched the episode where they saved him. Did you? Oh, fuck off. It's a serious situation. Oh, it was a double betray. Thanks for uh, hinting at that, Ezra. I was going to milk this out a bit more. But you just couldn't stop yourself from snarking. It's the music that means we're winning. Please don't pipe that over the system. Play something a bit more action-packed. Oh, what the hell. It was good enough for Rogue Squadron, it was good enough for Rear. Man, I wish they'd re-release Rogue Squadron's 1 to 3. That'd be great. I never got... what? Okay, never show a close-up of him again. Oh yeah, here we go. Forget Order 66, it's time for Order 86. Kill him! To be fair, these guys have a huge advantage in that Stormtroopers can't hit worth a shit. To the cave. The wolves. The wolves will protect us. Jesus Christ, Ezra. Don't send your Pokemon out to finish this fight. I'll sniff them out. Go mm. sniff them. <laughs> sniff them to death. It smells like fear. Fear. Cowardice and uh, soap. Oh, yes, my fursona. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. Toss him off, finish him off for good. Please, God, I can't take no more sniffing. Yes! God, sweet Mike, yes. Thank God. Don't shoot the dogs, whatever you do. Okay, this is pretty based, actually. Productive. <laughs> it's a good thing we can't run out of ammo on these things. That's a good point. Like, these laser blasters only overheat. They don't really have ammo, per se. Okay. 
That was pretty hard. Yeah, it was just oh, I, I keep I want to do something. The wolves keep kill stealing. Oh, just like the boys. I remember that time. <laughs> That's gonna be real fucking sad when someone commissioned season seven. I remember when I used to bite droids' legs off. Also, don't bare your teeth. You will now be forced to admit my silly hat is not silly. Also, if any of you had, like, jerky in your pocket, that, that probably... That probably contributed. Really should have stopped off of that Space 7 level on the way. Truly, we were a Star Wars Rebels. So, um, they, they beat. The guy, and there's two episodes left, so, uh... Well, there's still, uh, a whole ass empire. Yeah, that's true, but it's not gonna be beaten by the end of Rebels. Yeah. Yeah, and they've got Lothal, so... they still got the planet to liberate. There's a place to end it, though, I think. Yep, yep, yep. The episode wasn't bad. Yeah, it was fine. Wolves are cool. Yeah, wolves are cool. It was a little bit of a slow first half, I'm not going to lie. But the second half was much better. Yep. Are you ready for episodes uh, 15 and 16, mate? Yeah. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. Okay, okay. These are the last two episodes of Star Wars Rebels. They're all in one thing. So we're going for a 45-minute run here. Well, this sure looks like it was drawn by... This looks like fan art. It kind of does, actually. <laughs> I had fan art drawn of me and my family. Because <laughs> we couldn't take any actual pictures. He's doing a speech again. <sighs> that fucking guy. Can you put the sound adapters on if you're going to monologue, please? Oh, there we go. They're bringing her up. There you go. Have you been practicing that line? Yes, actually, several times in the mirror. Um, excuse me, but you're currently a hostage, so... Did you not see that we have wolves? Very cool wolves. You don't know what else is in those caves, lady. Don't make me unleash the pterodactyls. We may not even have pterodactyls, but who knows what's coming out of that spirit cave. Okay. That's pretty sweet. Oh, sh I did forget about the wolves. Oh, no. Wait. No, no. Listen, you either do this or we upgrade this episode's rating to fucking TVMA, and you're not going to like that. It was teetering on the edge there. Like, the sensor was just like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> just imagine, like, all the walls packed into those ships. We're just going to drop them like bombs. <laughs> Orbital wolf drop. That'd be pretty sick.
Okay, cool. That that's not what I asked. Can you stop quipping and just get to it, please? Hey, you know, they're on the way there. You know, if, if there's a time for quipping, it's now. They're just getting it out of their system. Okay, that's a fair comment, and I would draw my criticism. It's like, during, <laughs> during the battle, if it's not already established what the tone of the show is, like, I have a problem with it. Uh, everything's going smoothly so far. Just keep pretending that you captured. Oh, there he goes. You could have just calmed down. You had no problem with it in the last episode. Like, let's not make no qualms about it. Ezra murdered several people last episode. Okay, we are now in level two. They're still in level one. It's fine. We'll meet up with them in a second. Well, she said to go. I like Hondo. He brings a, a touch of class to the comic relief. He is just wonderful. He's he's charismatic. Uh, God, why does the Empire have such stupid hats? <laughs> I mean, the Rebels kind of have them too, I guess. Oh, I think I remember watching the Cosmonaut review of this ending, and he, he kind of criticised this bit especially. St well, why are you firing at the glass? Well, whatever. They forgot the glass was, was laser-proof. So is that it? Are we the... Oh my god. Are we the Empire now? How does that work exactly? All right. Now then, you Empire people were too lenient. We're going to really crack down on the populace now. <laughs> we will be Empire Plus. We're going to give Sidious some pointers. <laughs> going to make Order 66 look like a fucking joke. Is that some sort of star of death in the background there? Uh... No, no, I think that, no, that's the, uh, I remember this, that's the, uh, like, imperial building on the, like, city. God fucking damn it! Fucking this guy! Please hook him to death, oh. Uh, crack his neck. <laughs> fucking yeah. got you fucking kill confirm motherfucker the one thing he's afraid of 
large wolf running at me. No, please, please finish it. Finish it. No. I just hope like he just like starts to crash and then just a bunch of other wolves off screen just start running towards it. I've never been so unhappy to see a villain come back before. <laughs> Yeah. Why would the Rebels infiltrate the Imperial Headquarters? What possible reason could Rebels have to do that? Now I forget, but didn't Thrawn get fucked up last time we saw him in Rebels? I think, I think, like, a Storm God, like, fucking punched him or something, I don't know. What were those explosions I heard earlier? Oh, whatever. Eh, it's probably nothing. I'm going to use my big boy voice now. The order's fucking confirmed! I was like trying to order food. Thank you, Steve Bloom. Isn't that this, this is the voice of the deposed governor? Wait a minute. Why the hell did they choose today of all days to assign the one Imperial officer with brain cells? <laughs> well, it worked at least. There's, there's that Ezra look again. It sounds like they bought it, Colonel. The th fucking he still had his thumb on like the mic. <laughs> oh god damn it, Bridget. Seinfeld theme plays. <laughs> that would be the sound my TIE Fire made. <laughs> Ugh, I need a bath. Don't ask. Contact the Emperor. Tell him the new. Tell him he needs to put out a new order banning all wolves. <laughs> Please, as fast as you can. I was just like, that is one big triangle. <laughs> I just like the idea of Ezra making Sonic like quips every other second. Okay, no, I think that is just a thing he says. Yeah. Carabats. That's a Pokemon, I think. Uh, I think you might be thinking of Carablast. Yeah. Thrawn doesn't give a fuck about random troops. Hold on, when did I become commander? Convenient. Oh, so that's what this fucking room was in Phantom Menace. <laughs> Maybe uh, Mr. Plunkett wasn't too far off the mark when he says, what does it power the universe? It's a planetary shield generator. That's one of my favorite quotes, by the way. What does it power the universe? Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, do the feg. Feg being done, sir. Oh god, not the boxers. Uh, 
It's the it's the bit where they coup explosions and cut to individual reactions of characters going wide eyed in despair and shock. It's the finale sanctioned violence that I crave. Oh god, my boxes, how will we ever rebuild? It's okay, son. That <laughs> certainly put a damper on my day. I imagine if you weren't paying attention to this at all, you were just like on your way down to the corner shop to get a newspaper, maybe a drink. It's like a blab, no more shop. So I'm the Jedi now? Yeah, that's how it works. I'm sad. We are concerned. Well, Chopper has a lightsaber now. Yes, yeah, and Chopper in. He'll he'll make a good meal out of it. All right, all right. So I'm saying, hey, Chopper, can I have the? Can you please give that back, Chopper? No. Chopper, please. You are my Padawan now. It's event time. What are you looking at me for? Yeah, seriously. Oh, I see. She's doing a thing. Music's nice in these episodes, I will admit. He snuck away to turn himself in. No. Stop. Come back. Why is he so small and insignificant? It's too late. He's gone. And if you see Sniffy Guy, you know what to do. Take him out. But first, just shove a piece of garbage in his nose. Yeah, well, he'd probably enjoy that at this rate. Well, who gave them that right? Ah, a Jedi in cuffs. This takes me back. Well, we're in a room alone, and I have the Force. Yeah, so... Mm. See this big mask? I'm going to put this on, though. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... All right, tent the Force ready, Ezra, and... Enact plan. Thrawn has his pants pulled down. Ah, uh, got him. Ah, uh, you see, that was a burn. And it's not that mysterious. Actually, we did a lot of research into it. There are these things called midichlorians that go through your bloodstream. Yeah. And they carry the will of the Force. And uh, if you have a lot of them, you can do a lot more. Yeah, also there's Force lightning, so it kind of is a weapon. If you'd like, I can show you where to get more midichlorians. I know a guy. Just sells injections of the stuff. 
Wait, is that an actual thing? No. Okay. It belongs in a museum. Yes, my museum. He talks like a diet G man. A little bit, yeah. Oh boy. Is it Sheev? Wait, no. Who the fuck? Yeah, I was just, just like, who is this? I don't know who this is. Like it's not she. <laughs> Sheev is currently, I guess, still brushing his teeth. Yeah. In front of the mirror and like hoping that Ezra shows back up in the mirror so he can do force lightning at him. Wait, so has Order 66 happened yet or not? I'm confused where this takes place in the time, Lord. What? Because he didn't seem all scarred and whatnot. No, I don't think that was Sheev. I mean, either... Or or maybe they just have a hologram. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a different character. Or they just have a Sheev hologram that, that, like, emulates what he'd look like if he weren't scarred. But yeah, this is obviously... I mean, this is Rebel, so... Yeah. Sorry, that just confused me for a second. Yeah, I, I don't... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just some character that we don't remember or recognize. Shot for the trailer. There's nothing wrong with making trailer shots, just tie them into your story like this. Rebels. Breath of the Wild. Ah, yes. I want to use frequency two. Ah, the forgotten frequency. You know what's funny? You could switch the names of Twilight Princess and Breath of the Wild, and it would still kind of apply to the games. Yeah, it would. Because, like, there's a lot of interacting with the wild in Twilight Princess, and, you know, there's a lot of, you know, darkness and twilight going on in Breath of the Wild, and you're trying to save Zelda, so... That's my uh, observation for the day. I'm fresh out now. Oh boy. Pigman, going at it. He's just looking at his friend's dead body. <laughs> what does this fucking Scooby do? Don't call us that. You need a better name. Call us Star Wars Rebels, the full term. Does he, though? So it is Sheev, but with a fake hologram that hides his scars. I didn't know he was hiding that from the populace. I thought he was fine letting other, just letting everyone see him. That just makes even less sense, because in episode 3, he blatantly says that he was, like, attacked and it left him scarred. Yeah.
I gotta say, ruins on a spaceship is pretty new. Oh, so this is the classic I can bring the dead back to life chief trick, I see. The classic Sheev move. Would you like dinner, Ezra? I believe it is chicken tendies tonight. Have you ever heard the tale of Darth Plagueis the Hungry? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking asshole. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> Yeah, check the, uh, the the wiki synopsis. Not really in the end of the episode, obviously. It just says a hologram of the Emperor. Yeah, so... I, I don't know why he's, he's pretending not to be scarred here. I, I, I guess it's because Ezra saw him in the mirror? Earlier? Maybe, yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. It's okay, you're gonna get out fine. Maybe if I'm watching another finale of a Star Wars thing that just decides that Sheev needs to be in it. Hmm. What was because the other one? Because the other villain, Rise of Skywalker. Oh, right. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> I can't believe, like, his initial appearance was in fucking Fortnite. Yeah. We don't want a charismatic villain, actually, so... Let's bring him back. Yeah, because, whoop, she accidentally killed your fucking villain in the second movie. Ooh, isn't it subversive, though? I bet you didn't expect that. Your tendies are getting cold, come on. You like them, don't you? I'm dressed in white, you see, because I'm a good guy. Look at my eyes of concern. Ever hear the story of Darth Vader the Sad? Oh, hold on. <laughs> Darth Vader the Sad. <laughs> that, that's, that, that, that one's still in development. <laughs> Like, either there was a cut I haven't noticed, or this is just one long hour episode. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's season 4, ep E15, so... Uh, up on, up top in the video file, so yeah, I think this is this is just one big episode. No, not the squealing pig guy. He did a fun, dramatic death, so I think that was a... I think that was a joke. Uh, hold on. I see Sniffy Guy. Yep. He takes priority. It's personal, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> I will take you out with me. Well, I guess that's the end of both those characters. I mean, Zeb... You know, he, if, if he feels that he has to sacrifice himself to take Sniffy out of the story... And you know what? Zeb's a hero. Oh no. A friend is dying. No, not a good character. You'd think a point blank blaster to the chest would would have a little more of a visual impact. That's fun. It's a slight singe. Go on now. I'm good. <laughs> I 
that we really haven't I just like we really don't get any uh like like after you know the lightning incident with Mace, we don't really get any charismatic sweet talker Sheev. No, not really. So it's interesting to see that in a post post empire. Uh, post rise of the empire, we have a uh, Sheev that's uh, doing sweet talk and uh, not just cackling. So, are these two actors, or is it literally an alternate reality? It's 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 an alternate reality. Clearly, uh, Sheev can do that. Do it. <laughs> what can't I do? <laughs> I can send you back to an alternate reality with your parents. Of what? You know what? Why? What more power do I want? I can raise myself from the dead. I can see <laughs> alternate realities. <laughs> well, goodbye, Gate. How dare you? That was very cool, what I was doing. There you go. Yes. Going to have to pay for a new model. Hell no. And a new hologram thing? I'm going to burst out of here like a Dragon Ball villain if you don't leave. Yes. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Believe me, if I were actually here, you'd see that shit flying across the room. Alright, I'm going to lower my voice to a little croak now, and now I'm going to cackle at you. Now you'll have to deal with my power rangers. <laughs> yes, go! <laughs> and Shin, Ezra. <laughs> oh, that's no. They have gravity stabs. Sheev, you coward. Turn that hologram back on. Get in here. <laughs> He's floating in midair, you fuckers. How could you... <sighs> Whatever, I don't care. <laughs> Zeb, you're a hero. Oh, take it back. You need to kill this guy. Yes, do it. Do it. Zeb just, like, he saw Sniffy, and he's like, no, this has to end. <laughs> I don't care what it takes. Oh, crush that shit. Oh my god, if he goes out this way, I will retcon everything I said, and Sniffy guy is a hero. Listen, I'm busy. Sniffy needs to die. Yes. Oh, why'd you cut away? Too violent. No, but that leaves the possibility that he weaseled his way out of it. I need a body. I can see that, you fucking tart. Well, that's upsetting. I'm watching him die. This is actually really- Oh, this is so fucking satisfying. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, but I'm not giving his lightsaber back. No, it's mine now. He's not fucking dead. I can see him breathing. I mean, yeah, like, when we saw him, this is clearly a, is a bit. Like, we saw him. <laughs> like, you saw him. He, like, put his hand on his chest and did a dramatic spin around before falling down.
Now I've had the most dramatic clone death. Oh, yes. Yeah, tell... F I'm gonna see fives in heaven. I'm gonna tell them. <laughs> I'm a fucking... <laughs> yeah, now it's me. Kind of funny that the ones from the Clone Wars get the most dignified deaths and everyone else gets fucking quipped to death. Yo, what's up? How'd they do that? Is it the wolves? Did the wolves learn into stellar travel? There's just a giant wolf in the skybox. Yeah. Oh, are these like the extra dimensional things that he was worried about or whatever? I don't know he had something about that, yeah. Yes, he befriended intergalactic entities. Turns out the wolves just had the squid spa the space squids on speed dial. Jesus. Yeah, space whales. Admirals, there be whales here. No, shut up, I see it. Ah, uh, damn it, I joined the Empire to not see this. Where's the PTSD? He should be having, like, flashbacks about this. Oh, he's trying to run away. Oh, what a move, Ezra. You're almost cool, Ezra. You're so close. Also, if I told you the plan was space squids, you would have laughed at me. <laughs> yeah, kind of. I would have. Take him, girls. Fucking another wave. Ouch, my shoulder. Alright. We're heading back outside the galaxy, motherfuckers. How's it feel, Fraud, to be uh, taken care of in a fucking Disney XD tier Star Wars show? I gotta go with the squids. I I promise them. Redemption is all that's left for me. Yeah, I'm not a fucking Jedi anymore. I'm a fucking squid boy. I am now <laughs> Jedi Lovecraft. Don't look up my cat's name. Okay, bye. Motherfucker really brought in a super weapon and then left the galaxy with it. Yep. Okay, but before we do... Just just download the security footage. I really want Sniffy dying on repeat playing. Yeah, also fraud. We could probably put some effects on that. Turn it into a home video.
The Imperial base is flying away. That's a stupid stabbed looking spaceship. Oh, she gets to use it now. Give it to Hondo. <laughs> no, he can't be that cool. <laughs> I'm pretty. He's used one before. Or, well, he didn't really use it. He just kind of, like, thought, hey, this is cool, and, like, swung it around a bit. Uh, I, I actually, I think. I like to imagine in the first bit. I don't. We don't see him do it, but I like to imagine in the first bit when he had uh, Obi Wan, uh, Dooku, and Anakin locked up that. He just, like, played around with their sabers. <laughs> I would. Back home to feed the wolves. They're probably starving. Did you pack uh, Sniffy's corpse? They're gonna want that. <laughs> Specifically that one. Goodbye, Empire. Goodbye. Oh, they're leaving. They're just going to be stranded in space. Ezra's not dead. He's just... No, he's not. He's just with squids. So yeah, spoilers, he's not dead. I respect that. I respect that. It's a little bit... You gotta respect going down with the ship. It's like that bit in... Uh... Pirates of the Caribbean 3 with, with the uh, the army, the British Navy guy walking around. It's just good business. Yeah, the squid's kind of a bit of a deus ex machina, but it's fine. Bit of an explanation. So, uh... Uh, let's see. We'll go on thumbing through my notes, thumbing through my notes. Uh. It's the spark of hope. Yes, indeed, and it is bright. We've made a new hope. Remember Ezra's words, that that which is not dead, which may eternal lie, and with strange eons even death may die. Wait. We will now murder all of you. We are now all squid cultists. For once we were kids, but now we are squids. Now let's start corrupting our flesh with tentacles. Yeah. Bit more, bit more. It's the Seattle Space Needle. Well, I cut my hair again, and that didn't make me feel any happier. Uh, it seems like they're constructing the Wizard of Oz land over there. It's a cool spaceship. And we just lied back and let the other rebels take care of the rest. Oh, literally. They were just chilling out on the planet until the Death Star blew up.
You didn't commit genocide, friend. You're my wife now. Oh, okay. I don't see him, but alright. Uh, there's, like, there's theories, uh, some people, like, pointed at, like, one specific extra, like, in The Return of the Jedi, and said, hey, that, 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 that that's Rex. He's right there. Yeah. Uh, that, that he's, like, one of the people who was with Han outside the, uh, generator, uh, yeah, base. Turns out he was just counting on me to do art critique of the mural. <laughs> Basically. So yeah, Hera had a son, and there you go. And I just drew shit on the fall. Literally nothing ever happened to... Oh, hi. I, I, you don't have to look at me like that. I had to be here. I, I, what could I have contributed to Endor? Come on. So, so, I didn't see you there, motherfucker. <laughs> you getting really... Choked up about this Neo. So anyway, yeah, they're, they're going to look for Ezra. <laughs> they're going to see things that should not be seen. Truly, they were a Star Wars Rebels. I just hope, I really hope Eldritch Ezra is a thing now. I hope he's doing this whole time. Indeed. Right, going to close that down. That, my friends was the end of Star Wars Rebels. Uh, apart from some really goofy moments that really shouldn't have been in there, where if it was regular Clone Wars, it wouldn't have. Um, that wasn't bad. Yeah. It wasn't super spectacular, I think, but I've definitely seen worse finales. Yeah, yeah, that was a that was an absolutely a fine finale. Uh, I, I, honestly, I like the space squids. Uh, I, I, I had no fucking idea what they were doing there, because I obviously have missed a bunch of lore and uh, episodes, but... I enjoy a good squidding, I won't lie. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, so yeah, that was very enjoyable. Thank you, Mark. And uh, I do believe we have some more Star Wars coming in the form of the Clone Wars. Let me have a, a look here. Yep, more Star Wars The Clone Wars, so look forward to that. And if you guys want your own TV comms, hit up patreon.com forward slash hellfire comms. Every penny helps to keep the group going, and you get something cool in return, so please consider it. We'll see you next time for another batch of TV comms. Bye-bye.